Hello friends. Thank you for joining me for another story time. Today we're going to be reading all about farm animals. So I have two books for you to listen to and then a little later today we'll post our craft that you can do along with these two books after you've listened to them. So our first book is called Farm Animals, a very first picture book. It's all about the animals you're going to see on a farm. This is a cow. A baby cow is called a calf. Cats drink their mother's milk. This is a horse. A baby horse is called a foal. It eats grass just like its mother. This is a pig. Mother pigs have little piglets. They root around in the ground to find things to eat. This is a sheep. Little lambs nestle up close to their mothers for comfort. They feel warm and safe. Doesn't it look so fuzzy? Ah, you just want to snuggle right up next to it, just like that little lamb. Goats. Mother goats have twin babies called kids, just like you guys, huh? Ducks. Ducklings stay in the nest with their mother. They'll soon take a swim. Does anybody ever go feed ducks? We like to go feed the ducks in my house. We feed them all sorts of things. Grapes and bread and bird seed. Chickens. Chickens lay eggs. Fluffy chicken. Chicks hatch out of them. Look how cute they are. Dog. A dog helps the shepherd bring the sheep home. Sometimes dogs are just a lot of fun to forget about having them help you out. They're just fun to have around. Cats help keep the mice away. It's Saturday night. Time for a bath. All right. That was a great story about all sorts of animals. We read about ducks and chickens and horses and all sorts of animals. And there are so many different kinds of animals that can live on a farm, like turkeys or bunny rabbits. Farms are amazing places where we can find all sorts of really cool things. Our next story is called Ba Moo, What Will We Do? This is a really fun story. Something special was about to happen at Buttercup Farm. The farmer had bought a kangaroo back with him from Australia. She was going to arrive that day. All the animals gathered in the barnyard to talk about it. No one had ever seen a kangaroo before. What can a kangaroo do anyway? Everyone wanted to know. What if she can crow, said the rooster. What if she gets up very early and crows very loudly and wakes the whole farm? And what if she counts the chickens and hens to see if any are missing? If she does all that, the farmer won't need me anymore. I'll have to look for a new job. Cock-a-doodle-doo. What if I can't find another job? How terrible, everyone said. What if she can herd sheep, asked the dog. What if she rounds them all up and takes them out to graze in the field? And what if she chases foxes, too? The farmer will be so happy with her that he'll send me off to live someplace else. Bow wow. I would hate to leave. It would be horrible, everyone agreed. What if she can catch mice, said the cat. What if she catches all the mice in the barn and the rats too? And what if even the spiders are afraid of her? Then the farmers wouldn't need me anymore. I would become a stray cat looking for food in the trash. Meow. I would miss my fresh milk. How awful, everyone said. Oh no, everyone is getting very upset. What if she gives milk, asked the cow. What if she fills up all the buckets in the barn with such creamy milk? that the people will rush to buy it. Then nobody would want my milk. 
and I'd have to pull the heavy plow through the fields instead. Boo! I couldn't stand that. How shocking, everyone said. What if she grows wool, said the sheep. What if she has a thick woolly fleece, softer and whiter than mine? And what if her wool grows twice as fast as mine? The farmer would be so happy with her that he'd only use my wool for rags instead of nice sweaters. Bah! I don't want my wool used for rags. It would be terrible, everyone agreed. Oh, look at the sad little sheep crying. Oh, no. What if she can pull a cart, said the horse. What if she takes a cart full of fruits and vegetables to the market faster than I do? And what if she gives rides to the farmer's children? Then there would be no place here for me, then, and hide it up in the stables with all the old horses. Nay, I'm too young to live in that old stable. How frightening, everyone said. The animals were getting worried. They were so busy worrying, they didn't notice that some of the younger animals had wandered away. Where are my puppies? asked the dog. And my kitten, said the cat. Sheep couldn't find her lamb either. Oh no, they were so busy worrying about the kangaroo, they forgot about the baby animals. The animals searched all over the place, but not a kitten, puppy, or lamb was in sight. They looked from the barn, To the pigsty with no luck. That's horrible, crowed the rooster. Terrible, barked the dog. Awful, meowed the cat. Shocking, moved the cow. Frightening, bad the sheep. This is very bad, neighed the horse. Suddenly, across the field, they saw. What did they see? What is that? A very strange animal leaping and jumping toward them. Hello. She said, I'm Kangaroo. The animals stopped searching for their children. They stared at Kangaroo. This new animal had a large pouch on her stomach. And in the pouch were three kittens, two puppies, and one lamb. I found your baby, said the Kangaroo. I'm a babysitter. I look after the children and give them a ride in my pouch when they get tired. They love it. What a great idea, the animals crowd, and crowing and barking and meowing and mooing and banging and neighing. They all welcomed Kangaroo to Buttercup Farms. Oh, thank heavens, they're not so worried anymore. Now that the kangaroo is there, the kangaroo can help them look after all their farm babies. Won't that be so wonderful? I hope you enjoyed our stories, and I hope you come and join us in person for story time next week. We'll be learning all about farm plants. It'll be at 1030 on Wednesday right outside the library. So just give us a call and sign up if you're interested in coming down. A little later today, about one o'clock, we'll have our take and make video posted to go along with this. We will be making a paper chain farm animal grouping today. So I'll see you later. Bye, friends.